Good afternoon everybody, Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me. It is lovely to have you here. Now I have um, recently posted a video, um, it should be up now, of me tidying my desk ready to, ready to do this uh, this little bit of um, crafting. Uh, it'll only, this will only be like a 20 or 30 minute video, just playing with a little bit of flower fairies and um, yeah, seeing, seeing where the mood takes us. I have tidied my desk, had a cup of tea and filled my desk again. <laughs> okay, but I filled it with what I'm going to work on, the flower fairies. Apart from these, I will miss these books when I take them apart uh, because they're brilliant. Oh, they're so heavy. I'm sure I showed you them when I bought them. Ooh, but they're brilliant for flattening, flattening things. And I've just backed some. Let me just pull them all out and then I can remove the book. Oh, I can show you what I've got. All that lovely fox in on the end of those pages. There we go. Oh, let me move it and then I can talk to you because it takes all my strength. Oh my lord, it's a wonder they don't go through the floorboards. Oh, okay, get her here lifting those. Um, yeah, so all I've done is backed on some of my lovely um, home dyed papers. Look at those, look at those shiny. I've got a couple more here. Um, I just thought these were perfect for, for fairy journals. Um, I'm trying to think what it is that I've put on them. So they're pixie, pixie powders? Yeah, pixie dust powder, something like that. I've only just started playing with them, but yeah, I'm having great fun. Uh, on top of some coffee dyed paper, so look how the colours have, have run. Um, and I think these are, oh no, wait, they're the same, they're on the other side. Um, I've also got some gilding, coloured gilding polish. Um, that's oh, I've obviously been cleaning my brush on that one. Um, yeah, that I got with all that that stuff that I got in that big haul from um, Neil's work colleague Anne Marie. So uh, yeah, I've used some of it <laughs> to back some some little um, tags, like journal cards that I think will will go in this journal. So these are. Um, some of these are from a kit by Tanya, a touch treasure of uh, adverts, I think, yeah. Pink, the pink adverts, I think they are. Chocolates and, I think it's called chocolates and roses. I might be wrong. I like the way that one's showing through, so we'll keep that as it is. Um, yeah, they were in they were in my desk in the, in the box and um, I needed some bits and pieces to fill this journal because it, it doesn't it's not going to be all fairies <laughs> it needs other things in it so fairies flowers birds that type of thing so i thought while i've got the paper there and while i've got the these little things here um, you probably remember these oh that's going to be a lovely strip that's going to have to go in the scrap box i cannot throw that out are you a long way away you do look it a little bit Oh, my scrap box is getting full again and it's nowhere near the weekend, we're midweek. You are right, I'm going to try and move you down, hang on. Oh, there you go. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, I thought well, I might as well use them. I was saying something about recognise them. Yeah, probably from the weekend when we were tidying out the, uh, the scrap box. I've done a lot of tidying this week, haven't I? <laughs> You can't really tell. I know some days I come on and I say, oh, I'm really tidy and I'm getting organised and I'm getting there. <laughs> and then I have a, a couple of sessions in a row where I'm, you know, I sit here this long, so long uh, crafting that I need to just get up and move and, you know, put my legs up and what have you. That's my excuse. <laughs> so, you know, I don't have time to sit and tidy up. I just have to have a couple of those sessions and then I'm... I'm back to square one, but the, the my stash is getting tidied. You know, the stuff that's away out of sight. Yeah, that's good scrap. So that's getting organised. I've not got quite so many boxes and piles and, and folders and things. I've still got plenty, don't get me wrong, but I've not got so many. Um, let me try that little one on there. I just like some of them with the corners rounded. They'll want inking, but I can do that once I decide to there's the big one on there. Yeah, once I decide they're going somewhere. So they're still not 100% flat. They're probably not 100% dry. Um, let me just ink that one to show you. 
and to look myself because the border just makes a big difference lovely what was I saying? I've forgotten again it's been a busy day we've, uh, we've lost the cat <laughs> he's gone for a wander it's the first time he's ever gone out of our sight so we're like worried parents but I'm sure he'll be back with all the cats that we've owned previously we've we've had the same worry when they go for a they go for a wander and they don't come back straight away we start to think that's it they're gone they're dead in the road somewhere <laughs> so I don't know he just got the bit between his teeth and he wanted to go <laughs> that is not very square is it or is it I don't know it doesn't look it Seems to go off a bit there, that's better. Yeah, I'm inking them all now. These I'm leaving square. Um, so yeah, it's a busy day, been to garden centre, spent a fortune as you do at garden centres. <laughs> and uh, the garden's starting to look summery there, or loved at least. And then I've tidied my desk, like I say, I put that film up, so. We've been shopping. <laughs> we need to go shopping again tomorrow with mum. So yeah, busy, busy day. Always, always busy on Neil's first day off. Been to charity shop. <laughs> there we go. So I'm ready to go down now and watch telly and have a cuppa. I have just had a cuppa, <laughs> but I'll be ready for another one when I finish. Okay, so um, what else was I going to do with this? I dug this out. Um, I've had this quite a while. And um, I don't want to cut it up because I don't know if you can see it's got these two beautiful birds. It's a nap. It's just napkin on dictionary page. Um, that's not stuck on yet. And I thought oh, it might just be a little bit. I might be able to trim it there without losing the birds. I just thought if I make it into a back it into a journal card, I could just clip it into this nice big. Right? Am I going to hit you now? I probably should have backed it and then trimmed it, shouldn't I? But at least this way I know how much I can. So I don't want to cut any more of that little bird there off. So I'm going to just glue that and put it on a piece of that. I know that's probably not very interesting. But then I've got something that might be interesting. Shall we have this lovely... No, let's have that piece there. Okay, so you can see it's a digital on the other side. Yeah, about there. Right, this glue at the minute, I'm not in love with it. It um, it's very hard, very very hard. So, with all the other glues, the well, the Yuhu and the no, all the other glues actually, um, they're soft enough. The glue is soft enough for me to be able to, if I'm careful, glue on tissue paper and and some napkins. This one, no, not a chance. It, it's even hard on paper and um, if you leave the lid off it like I I do sometimes it's unusable <laughs> I left the lid off and it took me ages I just scrape glue off the top of it. it took me ages to get it going again so so far not a massive fan now I've glued a lot with it and I've not had anything yet touch wood come up but you know that's more about time Ooh, I don't think I like the smell of it either Ooh bit fishy. Glue used to smell fishy didn't it? When I was at school people told me it was made out of boiled fish bones. I don't know if it, <laughs> if it was back then or if that was just a one of those urban legends but is that what they call them? Lies. <laughs> Basically a lie that lots of people tell and believe or if it's true but yeah it's got a smell of fish. <laughs> nice I'm not selling it to you am I <laughs> and I bought how many did I buy I bought quite a few got about 12 tin pie so yep you'll be sick of hearing about it <laughs> uh, let's just roll of that I think because when it gets wet on one side it gets oh look at that can you see it it's catching the light here I don't know if it is for you that is definitely fairy coloured 
so it's not all that thick at the moment but I think it will be I'm gonna let it dry I'm gonna put it in that big book and then trim round it and you'll see it when it goes in Ooh, let, me, let me open the book and put it in and don't don't forget it's there Denise oh okay right I can move this paper out of the way now so that's all I was doing I think on there right, so I've got these to put in the book when I want them yes put your lid on there um and then I had these two cards from Tanya and I thought about putting them in um, a vellum envelope and I could only find one so I'm going to have to go to have a look on Tanya's shop and see if she's got any um, if not I'll have to find somewhere else who, saw, who sells them because I don't know if Tanya's keeping things like this in a shop now um, I'll go on when I film this and have a look and then I'll put a little note at the bottom and let you know um, if I found them I just thought it was it's such a nice card now i thought about putting because it's shiny they're like um what are they the fairy doors there's a black cat and there's a witch as well i'm afraid and i'm guessing these are fairies the looks like sigil sigil keeper and dwara so they both had to say healer nourishment and nature and he's symbol signs and messages um gorgeous Yes, yeah, so I thought about putting something over them, tissue or whatever, but I think part of the, the gorgeousness of them is the, the bright, intricate colours on all the... Anyway, I'm, I'm prevaricating. Is that the word when you talk a lot? I don't want to lose that. So I thought if I put them in some vellum, in a vellum envelope, so that they could still be on show, but still, um, you know, be taken out and admired. <laughs> we can't journal on them, obviously, but, you know, you could put other stuff in there. So I was thinking, yeah, what was I thinking? You put it in upside down. So I was thinking that way. So that it's on the back there. Obviously it'll go down in the bottom corner. And I suppose I could make some vellum envelopes, but I don't got any thick vellum. Yeah, then have it on there and something, something over there. I was thinking about that piece that we've just made as well, having it in the front. I might um might punch some holes in it and then put it attach it to the front with a paper clip uh, not a paper clip what do I normally say instead of paper clip and I mean it this time um safety pin yeah if I could get a nice black or a patinaed safety pin and you know punch some holes in it so that it doesn't rip not in this in, in the uh, journal card I might put that there as well okay so keep showing you things that I'm not doing don't I but there you go that, they're going in that right let's have a look at these oh, there was a very pink um yeah this I wondered if some of these would go in here and, and kind of bring the pink down a little bit and that does doesn't it you know not that I don't like it I do like it I know you know I might have a little label on that one somewhere but um Maybe this birdie then for now. Yep. Um, there's more things in here, so let's have a look. Might as well put them in while I've got them done. I'm panting well, aren't I? I don't know. I want a nice big piece in it. We're going to make a couple of pieces in a minute. Now that is a tuck and can have something in, but not yet. I'm sure I've got another. Yeah, that. Didn't have a couple of those in. I don't know if these are going to be big enough. That's nice in there, isn't it? Probably want something bigger as well behind it, but these might, aren't these beautiful? I'm really pleased with those. These might as well go in here as me. Who's them? You're a. Uh... Oh, that's quite a bang. What was that? I guess that was it. Sounded like our side gates. We've got really big double side gates here are attached to the house and then attached to the house next door to us and, and our driveway comes in between so no don't like it there sounded like a big bang that's a tuck but i don't want it in there oh this oh. yeah there are gates don't know what he's done if he's gone for the cat or gosh not big enough for in there either are you they're probably not going to go anywhere else yet these i think there must be just one more somewhere That wants something down the side, but again, bigger. 
So some of my bigger ones, yeah, that's a tuck bigger. That's not too wide and we've got stuff in that one. Okay, so not yet. So I'll put those in the tin with the other ephemera for this journal. Right, what am I working on? That's enough messing about, Denise. Spent 15 minutes before he started anything. These may want to go in it as well. Oh, I don't know why I put it on the glue paper. So I've come across these. I've had them ages, absolutely ages. That is the right way and the wrong way. Right, there's one that I've obviously cut the middle off and it is just a, um, a frame. So I'm thinking, I might put some lace on the front of it. I'm thinking put a flower fairy image in it and um, yeah, just seal it down completely so that it's a journal card on the back. Um, but this one, I've still got this piece in it. So if I put a flower fairy uh, image in there and glue that down, we've then got a double um, journal card or even a triple because we've got the back of the wall, haven't we? Might even put a pocket in there. Right, so that's, that's my idea. Let's, let's think around that one as well. Um, yeah, I definitely want some lace on them, but let's, let's choose some images. Did I go right around there? Um, and these might be nice with a bit of that coloured gilding wax on them, if I, uh, if I remember. But uh, yeah, we don't want everything too bright, do we? I don't know. I'm thinking out loud. <laughs> Only time will tell. Are we having everything too bright? So let's choose a couple of images. So I've cut them. Well, I haven't cut them all out. I've, I've cut a lot of my images out as squares. I haven't. Um, you can tell there's more than one book because there's two zinnias there. Look, Z for zinnia. Um, I've got a few fussy cut, but not many. So it's going to be a matter of trying them because some, you know, I know that's like the Christmas fairy, but some, I suppose she would. Some will fit better than others. I really want the ones that are in the centre of the picture like her. She's dead central, isn't she? Yeah. Um, so that's a maybe. I want some really bright ones though. Oh, those crocus kids. We've got those somewhere though in this book, haven't we? So not those perhaps. Who's this? The May Fairy. Let me see. Can't, she's got a big flower, so I'm losing, losing her flower. No. Oh, so Daisy was too small, wasn't she on the... Or did I put her on in the end? I can't remember. Now she's just framed nice, isn't she? Shall we go with those two? Save me looking through any more. Um, if you're new to flower fairies, I know a lot of people are not. No, I'm convinced these two are the same young lady, the same model, or sisters. They look very much the same. I think um, the light may well be shining on these too much look too too zinnias <laughs> and they're all on the back of ah look at that that's like a magic a magic card game they're on the back as well so um yeah i've got so many images to choose from i think that's why i've not cut them all out because sometimes you want to choose your image before you commit you know if i cut them out i'd have to commit to one or the other that sound like a reasonable reason? <laughs> oh, lovely. Make a lovely pack of playing cards, won't they? Could play snap with them. Right, um, yes. Oh, did I keep them both out? Yeah, right. So, what we need to do is get it. How am I going to get it exactly where I want it? That's the question. Um, by gluing round that do you think because I'm going to glue the whole thing closed so i just shake this up a bit because it's very empty so yeah if I glue round that so that that bit's sealed and then it doesn't really matter where I glue does it because it's, it's going to be sealed shut right this is the tricky bit Oh, I 
goodness it let me move a little bit now the, the bottom needs trimming where is my scissors yeah luckily it's going to be closed so it's yeah and that glue is nearly i'm going to use my fabric tack kurt that wants using up where have you gone are oh, you yeah. oh it fell on the floor didn't it when i was tidying up i bet that's rolled under my desk i've still got one here that wants because that's dried really quick that uh, art glitter whoops yeah i need new glasses come on it's quite dark as well now time is time is getting on yeah let's close it with a piece of this a piece a little mm, that strong fabric tech smell i love it a little bit of this it's nice thick paper so the glue is not going to leak through or cause any problems so that one is just the single journal card might be nice stitched so i have to have a think about that um definitely want some lace on it though but let's do this one and then come back to that so i think what i'll do is the same with this one but right, i want it the right way up that's the bit that goes down Right, so that very plain bit is the bit for writing on. And the one with the big blob on is the one that's going to be glued down, okay? Mm. And does it matter which way up I have it? That way, I think. Yes. Okay, let's have a think where she's going. Up a bit. Oh, look at the lovely toes. You're not going to get your toes in. Never mind about there so nearly at the top in theory i should be able to move this one around a bit so i hope you're all well i don't think i've asked you that actually today being so hectic here i've not had a chance to to be civilized and chat <laughs> i do apologize so easter is well and truly over have you still got chocolate left I'm jealous if you have because mine's all oops right up there mine's all gone and to tell you the truth it had all gone by easter sunday so right that bit's going down isn't it lovely yeah a little bit of shine oh that is not <laughs> that is not what i thought it was good job it wasn't dirty yeah we're all right um oh, i glued it no, it's just stuck with a little bit so yeah no more no more chocolate for me now and i ate all my foamy bananas do you remember me telling you neil brought me some lovely foamy bananas home from scarborough yeah i can't leave things alone when i've got them i don't know how people do how people keep sweeties in the house and just have a couple i must just be greedy <laughs> You know one packet i made for buy packets and packets of them obviously i won't sit and eat them all but like if i've got a packet of something i can't just have a couple one day Ooh. oh dear gloopy glue right let's um bring in the the tub of frilly stuff love that be truthful with you it's elastic <laughs> it would be nice round something wouldn't it love the color of it with i mean it does go with both of them actually nobody would know if it's elastic would they once it was glued down maybe 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 i've used this on lots of the flower fairy don't think i've got much much of it left now new no. oh that was my elbow crunching on the so this is just like a little working box of of bits and pieces i have sitting around if i know i'm working with the um, lace i get my big box down but this one just sits around i think i want something quite strong because you know of the coffee dying on it oops 
I'm wondering about two. No, but I do like this crocheted lace. Oh, I'm not supposed to cut it with those scissors. I do like some of that. It's very neat and organised in a straight line, isn't it? Oh. Wondering about where is the hell it's, it's escaped. It's over here. There's a bit of that as well. This sparkly stuff. And I see another piece that's escaped. Oh, let go of me. Oh, that's, that's more of this. Right, which one was off there? Yeah, there's this shiny pink at the bottom. I have to put it in here because it attaches itself to everything. Otherwise, you have a bit of it under there, do you think? Yes. Yes, I do. Right, where are my red scissors? The workhorse scissors. So, glitter on everything now. There always is the minute this comes out. What a shame. So I'm thinking that on there. Which one was it? And then a piece of that over the top. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm having. Yay for glitter, all you glitter lovers like me. <laughs> I don't, uh, because I like grungy, I don't use it a lot these days. Um, I used to use it a lot at Christmas, but I did very, very little Christmas uh, crafting, decorating, you know, for Christmas this year. We're going that way. Yep, yeah, these are going to be quite gloopy. I'm not sure, is this the one that doesn't open? I need to know. No, this is the one that doesn't. Oop, sticky. Um, I wish I'd got some lilac of that out. I have got it in lilac as well somewhere, but I'll put silver on there. Where did I? What, 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 what? Let's try it with some silver just to make them different. Oops, two bits of it. No, let's have the longer piece. over there and corral it back later. That might go over the flower fairy. It's not very straight but it's too wide. No it's... <laughs> you knew I'd do that didn't you? I might have, might have known. Right, let's cut it the right width. I'm gonna have all these frilly little bits. I'm gonna have to sew some buttons and lace together with some of that under I think just to move it out the way a bit they've cut so many little bits yeah too long oh I'm gonna put that piece in the bin and they're getting good I am I'm impressed can you hear my in my voice <laughs> that's my I'm chuffed with myself voice Right, what do we want in the bottom corner? That's what we're thinking now. Um, word would be nice, but not necessarily one of the fairy ones because we've done that a lot, haven't we? Which way up are you? That way. It probably would stick on the glue that's on, but I want, I want it to stick the once. First time. I mean, some buttons on there would be lovely, but that I think would make them too, too chunky. So let's just pop all that back. Oh, now what about a bow? Not quite so chunky, and I have. Oh, please, I have yet. Yeah. I've put them in my drawer now because I've, I've wanted them a few times and not been able to reach them. Now, she hasn't got much pink on her, so. Maybe she should have a... Who sent this bow? Somebody sent me this bow. It's beautiful. I can't remember who it came in Happy Mail. I'm hoarding it <laughs> for the right project. I think it needs to go on the front of, of something. All oh, right, so I've got... Where did you go? I've got one of those, look. So one of those and a bow, I think. On each. I'm waiting. I've ordered some cream little bows like this. I'm waiting for them to come 
and then I'm going to, in fact they're due today I think, but we've had a bank holiday. I'm going to uh, coffee dye half of them or tea dye half of them, or maybe some coffee, some tea. I like this one down here. Because I don't use them an awful lot, but I do like a bow. So yeah, the more colours I've got. Ooh, oops, don't lose that. <laughs> You go back in the draw. Um, words. Let's have the, the word draw out and see if there's anything that's appealing to me. What do you say? Appreciate always. I'm just looking at the coloured ones. Oh, there's a, a love there. Again, I feel that's come from. That's nice, isn't it? hiccuping I'm so sorry I don't know what's up with me just lately so I'm leaving it there because it's a possibility I quite like that green springtime right let's have a look um, there's some more purpley ones in here farming <laughs> farming's not really what I want is it lightness reading stem adventure adventure might be nice okay let's just try I mean those journal might be nice thank you summer okay shall we choose from those because I could just look through those all day couldn't I so let's cut a few down there's my little tiny scissors gone. I'm lost now, the hook's gone. I just lose them all the time. They're on here somewhere. And the desk is reasonably tidy, so they can't be far. Okay, so maybe a journal. Which other one did I say I liked? I don't like that one. It's, that one's not right. Um, Summer I quite like, and this is... It's not Lavender and Fairy, I think it's, is it Almond Blossom or something like that? Um, but she's got a very, very light lavender background. You may not be able to see. Does it clash with that pink though? Is it too big? I like that one. That's too big from there, isn't it? Hmm, I don't like any of them on that one. So, where are my fairy words? Where's all my fairy bits and pieces? Oh, what about something from the, about a word from, no, not that, <laughs> one of these pages. I don't suppose we've got the word daisy, have we? Christmas, forget me not. If they're in order, it'll be at the other end, won't it? Winter Jasmine. She could be Winter Jasmine, actually. Snowdrop. I won't look for long, don't worry, I'm not going to go through them all. I just wondered if. Oh, pretty. suddenly now I could just put the word fairy on couldn't I oh put daisy daisy fairy so I'm not a daisy fairy brilliant so let me use my new ruler I was just about to stop as well I glued that on yes okay don't rip please don't rip anywhere except for where I want you to bin. Okay. Can't pick it up now. Do we want it on something or just some coloured ink around it? It's my pink dobber here. Move my phone out of the way. 
um, what have I got a lilac to colour in here? I bet it's somewhere else. No, I haven't. Oh, I might have a big one. Oh, look, there's some new dobbers there. I really need to change that. The dobber on me. Mm. Yes, I have. Lavender. Um, have I got a lavendery coloured one? I think that's probably it. So you can go back because we don't need much. I could maybe even dip it in there, but let's do it on here. Oh, I think I've said to you before, I really must get a pink, a pink ink, but I've got so many other colours. I'm in danger of having too much. <laughs> But I think I would use a pink one a lot, actually. Okay. I don't want it on anything, and do I want that on anything? Ooh, decisions. I don't think I do this one. I think this one is fancy enough with it being torn, and I want it a bit, a bit more central. That springtime one, I think, probably does. Want some backing under it. Right, I've been longer than I wanted to be, but I'm on go slow, aren't I? Oh, lovely. These are the things I wanted to get done, so I'll be pleased. I'll do a little piece of that under it. If we're going pink, let's go pink. What do you reckon? Come on. I'm sure you've seen this pink before. I'm going to take that scalloped edge off the top. Ooh. Yeah, and let's go let's go cross obbled on it. Let's go a bit sideways on. Because that's what I do. <laughs> and that's what I like. So we'll go this way with the the lace. That's it, grab. I only tipped you up for two seconds. I've got a blob on you now. We'll have you a bit straighter. That's it. Make sure I'm picking the right thing up now. I've put that other piece in the bin. I'm sticking to everything. Lovely. Now, the one that opens, I might put a little um, flower fairy stamp or something in there. They need to dry though. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, just joining me and the fairies for a, a quick little make. I will um, see you tomorrow, which is, well, it's Wednesday tomorrow, so I may have not, but um, if all goes to plan, I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what for, maybe a bit more fairy action. <laughs> okay, I hope you have a lovely afternoon and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.